Hey guys, today I'm going to do a different kind of video. I have been getting this a lot, especially on my personal messages on Facebook as well as on my Gmail. A lot of you keep asking me about how I save money or what are my tips for saving money and investment and how do I afford to get all this stuff and all that questions. You know what, I can totally understand all these things and I really want to share with you what I do. Uh, a quick disclaimer before I start. Uh, this is not something which I say I am a perfectionist. This is something which I do and I am just sharing my tips which I use in my lifestyle and which helps me to get better results you can say. So let's begin. Tip number one. The first thing that I do is food. Food is something which is your everyday necessity. You have to have your food and it has to be healthy because me and my husband both are on our healthy living as well as weight loss uh, journey you can say and uh, I have lost a lot of weight. I am quite active and I am very happy, happier than before. So I go and buy vegetables and fruits which are on sale. Because in Singapore everything is imported, everything is super expensive, especially which is veggies and fruits are super expensive. Try to buy fruits and vegetables which are on sale for that week instead of just uh, listening to your own cravings and picking all the expensive stuff. I would do, I do what? I go to shop and see what's on sale. Like if I get two cherry boxes for $3 and I get a grape box for $4, I would better buy a cherry this week and buy grapes next week when it is on sale. So that is my grocery shopping or food shopping tip number one. There are a lot of people who come and throw the um, shopping or sale, even the grocery market and the home appliance shopping or even the restaurants like KFC and Magdi offers coupons at your doorstep. Collect all these, keep in your purse immediately so that when you go out next time you know it's handy in your purse. Also check your mailboxes for coupons and try to use them on time. That will help you to save a lot of money on your grocery as well as your monthly budgets. Tip number 3. When I do cooking or when you do cooking, you can cook only limited amount of food. For example, me and my husband only we are the two in house who eats and my baby has his own baby food. I try to cook for him only one time use baby food that I know he will finish and whatever he leaves I eat it off. I don't mind that and for me and my husband I cook veggies and uh, dinner only that much which is required for that night not extras because whatever you do after you cook a lot of food after some time you don't feel like eating it because it loses its own taste and quality even when you keep it in refrigerator so if you have time try to make limited food eat it fresh and cook again that way you will not waste food and you will not throw it off tip number four plan your days ahead make sure you know what are your plans for the weekends if you're working monday to friday definitely you will like to have your own time or one day at home or one day you go grocery shopping or family time so when you're going to go and eat out uh, have your expenditures in account. You know that how much you're going to shop for, how much you're going to eat out, and uh, don't waste food even when you are eating out. Order in budget when you go to a restaurant, check in advance what is the menu there, how much is the expenditure. Because once we landed up in a restaurant we, where we waste, wasted $110 for one uh, Indo Chinese food in Singapore, and it was complete utter waste. I still regret of wasting that money and I always see about the restaurant cost before entering into a restaurant because that's the one wise thing to do. Sometimes you can just treat yourself and go and eat wherever you want but it's definitely a wise thing to go and check the prices especially when you're living at a new country and new place and where you don't know much about things. You you every time go to a new place you should know what you have to do and what you are uh, not doing. Tip number five, this is one of the most 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 important thing and I just cannot emphasize much on this which is like my best tip I can say you and this is something which I learned from my mom when I got married she told me this thing and every day this is on my fingertips it's like first invest then spend 
it's you cannot just get your salary or get your money and then spend it and whatever is remaining put it in your savings that is not it's going to work how it works is that first know your bills spend after you save like if you have a house or if you have a, if you are planning to buy a house or if you already have a home loan or a car loan or if you have any kind of study loan whatever kind of loan you have you know monthly installments needs to be cut from your earnings so make sure first you cut out that amount that particular amount from the salary that you receive second pay your bills your electricity bill your water bill your grocery bill keep in mind your grocery bill your phone bill your internet bill we have so many bills to pay these days so it's always good to make good to make sure what is your bills monthly like you know there is a particular amount of bill for everybody i know that i have to pay my rent here in singapore i know i have i have to pay my internet my phone bill my water bill my electric city bill and uh, make your goals like monthly and quarterly and yearly for example if you are saving for your retirement most of us are working in private sectors these days we have to have our own savings make sure when you invest in something you know like every buy buy uh monthly or every by yearly quarterly or half yearly whatever payments you have to do a particular policy or if you have any insurance if you have to pay those bills keep that in keep that in mind in advance because until and unless you know how much you have to have pay how, how much you have to let go uh you it is not going to work out if you just get your money and spend it on things that you want in life and later on sit and think about oh my god i have to pay this bill i haven't paid this this is not going to work the simple and the easiest method is first save and then spend pay for your all bills the sooner you get your salary clear all your bills that you have to pay whatever bill it is then if you have any investments it's good if you haven't done any investments it's never late try to invest in something which you keep aside it's always good to invest in some medical insurance for you as well as your family as well as some retirement plans even if you stop working one day in life you will have something in your bank account so always cut out those things from your uh, salary and then whatever is remaining try to enjoy your life in that maybe today that uh, that remaining amount looks small but when you once you uh, have that together for a long time it looks a huge amount so i hope you get my point what i mean to say tip number 6 save on your saloon expenditure especially for women we go uh, we have this tendency to go to saloon a lot and some of the men also go these days and we have our own own luxuries there but try to cut out those things if you can do it at home that's why i do share my do it yourself uh, beauty and makeup videos if you ask me i personally go to a beauty parlor or a saloon hardly once in a year that too i go when i am extremely exhausted and uh, i have no time especially when i this happens especially when i'm traveling to india because when i go to india i have to pack i do my own packing and everything i have to sort out lot of things and all that stuff in that hurry sometimes at the end moment i realize i haven't painted my nails or didn't do my pedicure or manicure and i should be looking presentable to my family then i go to saloon and try to spend some money in budget i just go don't go there lie down and let them do everything on me and just pay come out paying 500 dollars i never do that i try to do as much as i can do to maintain myself at my home save a lot of money i cannot just emphasize enough if you see your monthly bills on your pedicure facial haircut oh my god all those things it is a lot to maintain yourself you spend a lot so wherever you can cut that money that would be great and i try to do that a lot 
I think I've already covered this tip number seven a bit in tip number five itself, but let me repeat it. Have your long-term plans, not your weekly, monthly, half yearly or yearly. Have your long-term goals, like plan for a year or two in advance. If you, buy, if you want to buy a house, there is a particular down payment. So you just cannot think that one day you will get all that money together and you can just go ahead and buy that house if you want to have your own dream house start from saving from your first salary pay your bills have your insurances done the basic necessity of life because you know we can live about we can live without makeup a big wardrobe a big shoe collection we can live without a food i like i, I like for three you don't have to eat three day three times a day if you don't have money you can eat only twice in a day but if you don't pay for your basic bills it will be a big tension so always once you get your salary invest or save or pay your bills first do a little bit of investment and whatever is remaining keep on saving that continuously so that you can enjoy it one day tip number eight i just cannot emphasize enough on this tip it's like shop at sales know in if you have a favorite brand like for me forever 21 is something which i would love to wear every day if you have that brand in mind always follow their website subscribe to their newsletter and uh, it's all free and when there is something going to happen there is a sale going to happen you are going to get notified first and you can just go in the first day and the second day and shop this favorite stuff as at a discounted price i love sh sale shopping i just cannot tell you how much i love it and it's not something which i have put in my lifestyle now even when i was in college i was on budget i used to get a limited amount of pocket money from my parents whatever tantrums i used to do after spending my pocket money whether i cry whether i do drama or not eating whatever my dad never gave me extra money and you know that is something which made me realize that money is so important and it's very important to do hard work and earn your own money you can just not ask anybody whether it's your parents or your husband or whoever in your life your siblings after some time nobody will give you money but if you have your own money you have the rights to spend it your way your own wise way so just shop at sales that is the best thing to do shopping on i wait for sales to happen at the end of seasons or especially after the festivals and vacations and that is the best time to shop because usually before seasons or before festivals everything will be brand new and expensive but after sales everything cuts down to 50 or 70 percent off and that's like so amazing tip number nine and this is something which is important because sometimes when you do um, expenditure or when you're busy in your lifestyle you forget where you have invested your money or spent your money or where all your money went so at the end of the month or at the middle of the month it's always good that one day you just log into your bank account and check your statements where all you've spent your money this will also help you to remind that you've already spent one amount of money and you should not spend more anything and uh, this will also help you to not buy things twice same things again and again so that is one of the tip always keep a track of your bank statement you can subscribe your phone or attach your phone with your bank account so every time your phone gets debited like when i use my husband's card he has a f uh, he has connected his phone number with his cards so whenever i use his cards obviously with his permission whenever i use his cards he gets a notification similarly when i use my card i do get my own notification so that will help your lifestyle a little bit easier and you both know what's happening where all your money going and that will definitely help have you to discuss help you to discuss and save money next tip tip number 10 this is one of the tip not everybody will agree but it's for me very important save on your save on your travel expenses like where you can take public transport in singapore it's mrt mass rapid transport i can go from my house to orchard road in just two dollars if i take a mrt and i have 30 minutes in hand i just need 30 minutes of time and 
two dollars in my MRT card and I am at uh, the Iron Orchard Mall. But if I take a taxi, I freaking pay thirty dollars in the taxi and go there eat something out spend another fifteen dollars forty five dollars bill already and if i freaking shop something it already reaches hundred dollars so that's totally nonsense and when i come back I, whether i take a mrt because i will be tired and i won't don't want to take mrt i have my shopping bags i take taxi again it's a totally waste of money when i came to singapore newly i was not aware of places i used to travel like this and i realized it's so much waste of money it's seriously waste of money so what i did uh, what we actually me and my husband both decided instead of spending on taxi bills it's always good to have some plan in ahead you can you just have to leave your house half an hour early spend only two two dollars each reach to that place you're saving thirty dollars for third that saved thirty dollars you can eat have your own meal outside if you want if you want you can eat at home leave after your lunch so you don't even have to eat outside and if, if even if you have to eat you can you can eat from that saved money and come back in mrt again but sometimes it does it does happen that you're very tired and you want to take taxi that's okay but don't make it a habit make it a habit to take a public transport or bus where you can save these are the things which are very small 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 things but when you add this all together it makes a huge difference in your money tip number 11 this is something which is very important take care of your health it's the most bill that anybody spends is the the most amount of money is on our medical bills if you have to go and show a doctor you have to register for another 30 dollars show to doctor 20 dollars pay for the um, uh, medicines that's another dollar i'm always scared to go to hospital because when you go to hospital your bills are really heavy that much amount of money must be a person's only monthly savings so always make sure that you your family everybody eats healthy eats healthy sleeps well stay happy uh, stay out of sun and rain it, in short just stay have a healthy lifestyle so that you don't fall sick and you don't have to visit hospitals and you save a lot of money next tip is like don't borrow money from anybody ever ever means ever don't borrow, uh, borrow money from whether it's your parents your family your friends whatever it is and whatever is the situation if you if you follow my all previous tips and you know already that you already plan in ad, a, advance you already plan in advance you already have everything sorted out in your mind you will already have so much to do that you definitely will not do unnecessary shopping or unnecessary expenditure or unnecessary wastage of money and uh, you will not have any problem of not having money at the time of uh, need for example when do people need money people need money in cases of emergencies because maybe you have to go to hospital for you or for your family member and you realize the bills are heavy and you don't have something in your account so if you already have a medical insurance and you have already invested in that beforehand you will never you will never need somebody to help you out at that moment that will not be embarrassing and it will you will also have that confidence at least at one level you will be stress free so plan your things in advance don't borrow money it's good to have a credit card i will say it's good to have a credit card because at sometimes in case of emergencies or needs needs you can use it but don't make a habit of uh, relying your life on a credit card because if you start using your credit card monthly then every next month when you get your salary you will only be paying your credit card bills credit card bills and no savings no money for yourself so these are the tips that i follow in my lifestyle i am sure a lot of this are something which you also follow and there are a few that are new to you i would love to hear from you what are your uh, tips that you follow in your lifestyle that helps you to save money and helps you to live a more healthier and happy life and finally my last and the most important tip i 
it is always if you have to give someone something give something good pretty and invest in that because if you are going to give someone a nice gift definitely one or the other day you are going to get it back that is my personal tip whenever i give gift to my husband my sister or my family in that case my mother in law i give them very nice expensive gifts it doesn't have to be expensive even if it is an amazing good quality great gift they are going going to use it cherish it and one day they are going to give you back that is the most amazing thing in my life i know it's little bit expensive to afford it but if you plan it you can do it uh i hope i have not missed anything these are the things that came in my mind right now if you have any more video requests leave me a comments below and i will see you in some of the video and as always i love you all Mwah! bye